Many Pokemon trainers ask the question, is it worth it to buy a trainer's toolkit? Touted as everything you need to build a powerful deck, this comes with not one, but two Dedenna, which prior to this toolkit's printing would have cost you the MSRP of this product just by themselves. But the trainer's toolkit is packed full of more than 50 cards to build your decks from, including dozens of trainer cards, special energy, and of course, a digital code for the complete contents on online. But can this simple product really provide new and experienced Pokemon TCG players alike the right cards to have a reasonably competitive deck, or is its value just wrapped up in the Double Dedenna, a value now fast dropping, meaning that the singles market is once again the best place to spend your Poke dollars? Let's take a look. A trainer's toolkit contains the following. A collection of 50 trainer and special energy cards, as well as two Dedenna GXs. I'll break down the details on those trainer cards in just a moment, but the kit also comes with an energy card packet of more than 100 energy cards. No, they are not hollows. Four Pokemon TCG booster packs, 65 card sleeves to protect your deck, two acrylic condition markers, a set of seven tournament legal dice, the complete Pokemon TCG rule book and a deck builder's guide, as well as a code card for all of this online. MSRP is $29.95. So there's a lot here, and I want to just start with the obvious, the inclusion of not one but two Dedenna. Most competitive decks use one to two copies of these, and while I've seen some builds with three, the fact that this toolkit comes with two pretty much sets you up with the key component of most competitive builds at the moment. What's more, prior to this toolkit being released, least a few days ago to go buy these two cards individually would have cost you the price of the toolkit. So prior to just a few days ago, these two cards or this entire toolkit, which has these two cards, that was essentially the price breakdown. Wow. But of course, as reprints tend to do and should do, the price on these cards has dropped significantly in the mere days since this product's release. A copy of a Dedenna GX now will run you about $5. So that's a huge drop. Thank you, aggressive reprint of key card. So anyone who just needs one to two copies of these for their deck, well, you're sitting pretty to just pick them up on the secondary market. Five bucks each. But in terms of the toolkit's value and worth, this is still $10 right here in these two key cards, key playable cards. And there's a lot more packed in here. Let's examine both the collection of 50 trainer cards plus the special energy packs. And yeah, we'll take a look at those accessories. The four included packs are basically all from new sets. Really nice because sometimes these products will be stuffed with old boosters. Depending on where and how you might pick these up, you're spending about three to four bucks each over the counter, meaning just to grab these four packs would run you 12 to $16, which when added with the two Dedenna GXs, even at their now reduced value brings us basically basically to the sticker price of this thing. Of the remaining trainer cards and special energy, there's a lot of standout items. Boss's orders, which you get not one but two of, that's one I'm really happy to see, and even after the release, this card is still going for $3 each. So there you go, two boss's orders, six bucks. And there's a lot of other really good staples in here, a few of note, Professor Research, and again, we got two of them, two Quick Balls, two Marnies. These all go for about a dollar each. So those six cards, another $6. And again, I'm talking the reduced prices after the release of the toolkit. We're now already easily above MSRP. I think collectors are gonna be very happy to see special versions of Pokegear 3.0, Pokemon Communication, and Reset Stamp, which all have all new artwork. If nothing else, it's a nice throw in as well as more value.
The Energy Pack has over 100 energy cards. So this is gonna take care of any of your energy needs, but I will point out they're not hollow energy. Does that really matter considering what else is in this kit? Well, complaining about a lack of special energy in such a strong collection does seem over the top. So obviously I considered doing just that, but even I could not bring myself to demand anything more from such a solid selection of cards. The sleeves, as usual, might have neat artwork, but they are absolutely awful in terms of feel and durability. Oh, the corners are sharp as heck, too. Pokemon sleeves are usually somewhere on the scale of D to F. And it's always so disappointing how bad the quality of Pokemon art sleeves are, considering some have some really neat designs. I like this particular design. I've liked a lot of the designs over the years, but someone needs to introduce the Pokemon company to Dragon Shield. The dice are, of course, tournament legal, so that's a good pickup if you don't already have them in your collection. Markers are acrylic and not cardboard, but yeah, they're not that great. It's a couple of bucks. The pamphlets are pretty superfluous. As usual, a Pokemon code is included for the complete contents, including the Dedene. And you get the cosmetic sleeves. Online, you can pick up these codes for $6.95. Here, I'm just showing the redemption off for you. The code that I have included in the video is up for grabs. I bought two of these, one for myself, one for the channel. So feel free to get at that code. But yeah, you also get the booster packs with the code. Everything, really. Look at this. So if you exclusively play online, $6.95 is a steal of a deal. And if you do not play online, yeah, sell that code and make this an essentially $23 product. So before the release of this, the total value of all cards included of note, as well as the accessories, dice, booster packs, would come to approximately $73.93. As of today, which is four days after release, the video is probably going up a few more later, Total value, if you were to buy all the individual contents or sell them off online, would be about $46.72. Though that is, of course, falling, and as we've seen in the past, these products usually even out really nicely with the contents leveling at the MSRP. Though, speaking of MSRP, it seems some steps were indeed taken to counter concerns about low supply due to high demand. I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to get a hold of any for MSRP when most of the pre-orders sold out early. But to my surprise and delight, not only have most stores been restocked, some are even offering discounts in the $24.95 range. I cannot stress to you how many key components for full-on competitive play are present in this toolkit. Go out to the store and pick this up, perhaps, with one of the new Picaram League battle decks, and you've got everything you need not only to play at the local game store or competitive level events, but also to have fun and, yeah, have a shot at winning. Final conclusion, the Trainer's Toolkit is not a watered-down item with weak cards for new players to use in a sandbox. It includes reprints of some of the highest demand singles at the moment, a huge selection of other strong cards, as well as welcome throw-ins of energy and tournament legal dice. The Energy Kit is nice, although many players might already have more energy than they know what to do with, and as usual, the sleeves, rule books, and condition markers are a little more than added fluff, though these tend to be frivolous, though these tend to be fun if frivolous additions. Overall, this is the best Pokemon TCG product I've seen in quite some time. It has appeal and value to new, returning, and established players, to casual and competitive, packed full of in-demand and competitively played cards, and offered at an extremely reasonable price. Also, purchasing one of these provides all these amazing contents on the free online client. Fantastic, and a solid A in grade. This really is a jam-packed value item. Supply currently seems to be holding, but there is enough value in this product that your local areas might see some availability issues. It's always hard to tell with Pokemon products, so check with your local game store, because even if they are not letting people in to stay and play, they may be offering safe delivery of goods or curbside drop-off, so be sure to check out social media or just give them a call on the phone. But either way, I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share with a friend, subscribe, or just by leaving a comment. What do you think of this Pokemon toolkit? Is it the best item, as I suspect, in a long while? Or am I missing some cons that were not listed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.
card game is fun, easy to learn, and inexpensive to play. Best of all, the game is a social experience for kids and adults alike, where players use math and strategy all the while stimulating their imagination and creativity. This video will teach someone who has never played the game before how to play in only 15 minutes. Luckily, the game is very straightforward. Using a 60-card deck, draw 7 cards, choose an active Pokémon, use energy cards to power up and enable various attacks on that Pokémon, all the while placing and possibly evolving additional Pokémon on your bench and using trainer cards for support effects. Pokémon was created by Wizards of the Coast, the same company behind Magic the Gathering. I feel the two games are very closely related and would describe Pokémon TCG as Magic the Gathering Lite. Imagine Magic the Gathering without instants and without a second main phase, and this is very much what Pokémon TCG is like. But unlike a game such as Magic the Gathering, learning Pokémon is actually easy to do, and the rules can pretty much entirely be covered in 15 minutes. Let's begin with types of cards. In this game, 